Hello. Hello, Jennifer Fox. This is Dale Anderson with Miller Pipeline. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? I'm doing well. Say, I wanted to call and let you know um, that you are the recipient of the Leading with Our Value Award for the Quality Award this year. Oh, wow. <laughs> you shouldn't be surprised. Uh, you had I a, am surprised. <laughs> Well, you know, I, I met you, I think, 15-plus years ago, and you have done just an outstanding job up there, and you're recognized within the Great Lakes region and across the company for everything that you do. Um, obviously, extremely organized, and you keep the group in check, uh, which I know Josh and team are very appreciative of. But it was really cool to see your name uh, as the winner of this. It was, uh, you know, voted by a group of peers, and I think there were 257 nominations in total submitted for this this year. So it's outstanding to be able to call you and tell you this. I appreciate the call. I, I really do. I'm kind of in shock here. <laughs> That's good. We like to leave you speechless. My life is very detailed. Um, I have to be. To be busy, if you're not organized, you're not going to enjoy it. Jennifer Fox, I have been with Miller since 2009, so 14 years, and I'm the regional office manager for our Great Lakes region. My work is a lot of behind the scenes work, so I like to help others. If I can help them do something small, it might take them a long time, might take me five minutes. They can be doing something else to make sure our employees need what they need, the customer needs what they need. Um, so basically, do it right, do it on time, and make sure it's efficient. There's a premium placed on being creative and all of these intangibles in our business world, but sometimes people that are just very consistent and very committed get overlooked, and she is kind of that glue of our region. Um, there's something that should be said for elbow grease and dependability, and she is that for our region and has been for many years. So on Monday's a payroll day. Um, our foreman put their entries and wins and the supervisors check it and I'm that final check. Tuesday and Wednesdays are my AP days, so I will take our AP invoices for the area, key them in so that our vendors are happy. Um, Thursday and Fridays are usually my invoicing days to Semco. Um, they want their stuff in a timely manner and we want it so we can get paid in a timely manner. To fit in all the gaps, um, all the new hire processes, when we start a new hire I'm kind of that first point of contact for them. I do a lot of stuff, but I like it, and I wouldn't want it any other way. I sometimes get upset if they are, I don't want them to not ask me to do something. I've heard that a lot lately. Well, I don't want you to do that. I will do that. I kind of strive that challenge. So if they need something else done, let me know when it needs to be done and I'll fit it in. So I, I like to be that helper. She's engaged, she's involved. Uh, if you're not on time with everything that needs to be turned in, she's calling you, she's running you down. And in those conversations, she's also very concerned about you. How are you doing? How's life? How are your kids? How are your family? And once you establish that for more than a decade like she has, that's the emotional support uh, that I think people are talking about. My coworkers are amazing. Um, it's a team here. I am very, very blessed that I have my home family, but I have my work family too. And everybody would help anybody out in a second. And that, that family home is, uh, is probably the biggest thing that draws people to Miller. Well, I live for my family. Um, my husband and I have been married for 17 years. We have two kids. My daughter, Madeline, is, she'll be 15 in a month. So we have started our freshman year of high school. My son, Lucas, is 11. He has started his first year of junior high this year. Um, and they keep me very, very busy. We have a four-year-old chocolate lab, and he is, he's that second addition to our kids. We actually asked uh, one of your friends to write you a letter um, about your uh, award. Oh. And we wanted to see if you could just read that for us. Sure. Dear Jenny, congratulations. I am so happy for you and that your hard work and dedication has been recognized. It is no surprise to me that you have been chosen for this award. Working with you in our, your 4-H volunteer role you have proven your ability to lead or follow while maintaining the highest level of quality and excellence in your work. I have seen your dedication and all you, that you do for 4-H. I can only imagine the level of quality and your dedication to Miller Pipeline. I know the 4-H program is better with your involvement. People who are privileged to have you in their lives are better for knowing you. Again, congratulations. I am proud of you. Your 4-H family is proud of you. Enjoy your earned time in the spotlight. <laughs> what does it mean to hear that? That is um, very sweet, very nice. Um, in my spare time, um, I volunteer for our 4-H youth program in our county. 
um, and I'm also a board member for our Little League in our county. Um, so I work with a lot of different people, again, helping them. Um, and I've known Lori a long time, since I was a kid. And uh, it, it's nice to see that they, they recognize that. The American Heart Association. I, my husband and I recently, in probably the last four years, we have lost two friends way too young and they were from massive heart attacks. So I would love for them to be able to do maybe more yearly checks on, on that kind of thing to prevent that so these young families aren't going without their dads. She sets the standard, she is the standard. That's one thing I've learned about gin, include gin, because when you do, your end product's just gonna be better all the way around. I was uh, completely shocked. Um, I'm still completely shocked. I'm very um, happy um, that they, they think of me that way. I don't always, I think of others that way, but I never stop to think of myself that way. I feel better if, if I'm helping somebody else. If they don't have to, if I can make somebody's day a little bit better by picking your kid up from school, um, taking the snacks to the cheer team, um, calling a coworker for, to ask a question, if I can make that person's day a little bit easier, then I'm a happy person.